uh, West Coast Authentic with uh, UFC lightweight Gray Maynard. How's it going today? I'm doing good. Last time we heard uh, you were checking out a gym in San Jose, the AKA gym. How did that work out? Uh, it's good. I'm going to head up there today. Uh, I was up here in November to train and, uh, you know, it's top gym. Really good. Really good. You're living in Santa Cruz now. How far is that to the gym? About 40 minutes. Got to go over, uh, you know, got to go over a mountain and uh, then you're there. So it's a cool drive. Not that bad of a drive. You know, I head up there about two times a week, three times a week. And, uh, you know, it's a great place to train. So how are you liking Santa Cruz in general compared to living in Vegas? Uh, it's definitely a lot slower pace, uh, you know, a lot of mountain biking, a lot of surfing, uh, and then there's like uh, three or four uh, jiu-jitsu gyms there. A guy named Mark Taylor uh, has a gym there. Uh, I've been working with the Morenoviches for my uh, strength and conditioning for, for, for that. They, they, they're in town there as well, so they know their stuff. Now, uh, you're fairly active on Twitter, and I know you, you guys get bonuses from the UFC for this. Is this something you try and go after? <laughs> I, I, I tweet occasionally. I'll go on uh, a little spurt, and I'll tweet, and then I'll try to answer back a lot of people. But uh, as far as being active, I mean, I don't know if I'm, I'm, I'm as active as, as a lot of people are, but... Uh, the bonus is I, I, I'm just not that organized on Twitter to go after it. And we heard you were working with uh, Jose Aldo down in Rio. Was that just before his fight with Mendez? Yeah, yeah I was there for a month uh, and I was there about two days after after he fought. So uh, yeah, he did a great job. Are you going to Holland to do some more training with Andy Sauer? I'm going to head up there probably in about a month. So. March, I might be going up there. I'm a big fan of him, so, you know, it'd be great to work with him and his group. Now, if uh, Frankie Edgar holds on to his belt long enough, can we expect uh, Maynard Edgar number four anytime soon? That's what, that's what I'm shooting for. And, uh, you know, I really think that, that the UFC, they hope that too, you know, just because I think it'll be a big fight. Uh, you know, and it'll be a good fight for the fans as well. Uh, but for now, he has to deal with who he has. And I'm going to have uh, one probably coming up in June. So, you know, just um, we got to we gotta keep on track until we meet again. As you know, West Coast Authentic, we're in the sports autograph industry. And we ask all the fighters this. What's the craziest thing a fan has ever asked you to sign? Uh, <laughs> Do you find it difficult in hotels during fight week when you're stopped by fans asking for autographs, or do you try and, and avoid that altogether? Well, that's more uh, a job I have to do, and, and you know, if I'm prepared to do it, then I head through there. You know, if I'm not, then I, I stay in my my place and, and look for a way to go to not go through it, go around it. Great, thanks for joining us today. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, no problem. And Gray Maynard fans can visit West Coast Authentic for exclusive autograph memorabilia, so come and check it out. You can also catch up with Gray on Twitter at twitter.com slash Gray Maynard. Thanks again, Gray. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks for having me, bro.